Hi, the internet. It's MaggieBot here with the quick weekend gaming. Uh, not much new game news. Uh, the company I work for this week got to present the big fundraiser they did for the year. Uh, so we were benefiting Kids Co. or Kids Company here in Seattle, which is a before and after school program that you know helps kids have somewhere to go and walks them to school and is amazing. So we taught them Dixit and Quirkle and King of Tokyo and like simple, quick, casual family games. And yesterday we got to present them with this giant pile of games that we're donating. And it was so fun and they were so appreciative and lovely. Um, so I've been working really hard on this fundraiser, so I didn't really play that many new things. Uh, I did get the bite though. Uh, we played Quizniac, which was a trivia game the other day, and I swear to you, I need some Trivial Pursuit. And it is not something easily available anymore, so apparently I need to hit up some thrift shops or find one somewhere. I will find some Trivial Pursuit, because I have a lot of that. Uh, the biggest news I want to come to you with is that next week is Board Game Geek Con. It is in Dallas, Texas, and I will be there. Uh, I would love to meet some of you, so if anyone sees me and wants to say hi, please do. I'm going to be so, so anxious about whether or not I can meet new people and say hi and not frazz out or anything. Also, if you're not going to be there, it's fine, but if you have any tips for cool nerd spots around Dallas, Texas, or game stores that you really recommend, I would love to hear it. My sister lives there, but I wouldn't rely her on her for nerd tips. I rely on her for her couch. Uh, <laughs> but I, I will be walking around the town and visiting whatever I can. Um, the only biggest news in new stuff uh, the Crossmaster Arena Kickstarter went live this week, so that meant it's a full-size expansion to the base game of Crossmaster. It is called the Frygost Expansion. It has like a frozen board with little bits that have snow all over them, a couple new figures, and a dual pack that has new figures. So I will probably be funding or backing at the 75 dollar level. Um, there is a $333 level that is very tempting. It has the expansion and the dual pack. It also has these little resin bits for when you summon a tofu or whatever and you get these little cool bits for that. I think what really raised the price on that level was the XXL figure and when I say XXL I mean ooh, about that big. And so it was just expensive to produce, apparently. Oh, yeah, no, that's about it. Um, <laughs> for new game news, Terra Mystica is back in stock. Francis Drake looks amazing, and I can't wait to try it. It is in my possession, and I'm just waiting until I have time. Uh, as far as Omen Reign of War goes, I showed you guys the card last time. Uh, we, we gave it a good go. Uh, it's a fun game, but it is definitely not for the most balanced players. When you're winning, you win more. And when you add the expansion, when you're winning, you kick the other person in the face. And that's all well and good. <laughs> so if I see any of you in Dallas, please say hi. If not, please follow me here on YouTube. Check out my Twitter. It's MaggieBot. Facebook.com slash MaggieBot. Guess what my website's called? It's www.maggiebot.com. And we'll see y'all later. Bye.